I don't remember who asked the question, but the question was asked whether they're born with tusks. Well, they're born, but it, you don't, they're not visible tusks, no. They're their milk set of teeth, their tushes, tiny little incisors. You don't really see them as babies, but they do have them. And then they lose them after the first year and get their adult teeth coming out. While they might go through six sets of molars, they only go through once. Well, their incisors, their tusks are not replaceable when they get their adult tusks from about the age of two. <coughs> I think it was Tammy was asking if they lie down to sleep at night. Thank you. No, they don't. They rest pretty much any time necessarily at night. At night, if anything, they need to be vigilant. <laughs> this is a little one. Oh, that's half trunk. I only just noticed that little one's got the trunk missing. Top of its trunk. I don't know if it's the same one we used to see in the old days. It would be interesting with the composition of this bird. But we used to see a young female with a tip of her trunk missing. I should have looked a bit closer because then we the would have been able to see how she was drinking. I wonder if this mate, of course, this one standing on the, the damn wall, I wonder if she's the mother of that little boy who was lagging behind and she's just waiting for him. One that we had, we called it Fupi, which in Swahili means short. Missing a, a few inches from the tip of the trunk. Chris wants to know if there's a functionality behind <coughs> the more angular forehead of the female versus the more rounded forehead of the male. I think it's a finer feature, Chris, much like our. I, I don't think there are any particular function to it, to be honest. The caravan that lands at Arethusa. Over. <coughs> um, I think it's just the feminine features that make them very much like us. They are the particular things that make that uh, make feminine features different to males.
not a single bird flying around those weaver nests, so my guess is that the weavers have finished completely. No more. There isn't any more breeding on them. Those nests have all gone brown and dry <coughs> and won't be used again. I can't remember if I answered Sharon's question, Sharon. Austria. There's a dung, not many dung beetles around anymore, but there's a dung beetle rolling a ball. She's probably put an egg in it and she's taking it to bury now. Love you lots. 